If you've ever wondered what it's like to stay in an 800 year old monastery, here I am to show you what the room is like. It is said that Jesus came here and I've been wanting to come back for four years. So I'm going to show you the deluxe room. So here we are folks. This is the 400 rupee a night room. It's my office area. It is a little like camping with my essentials, candles, lemons, tea, and assorted other things. My bathing items. Oh, and then I have all my apples and bananas, my media equipment. Now this is the best part. Look at this, this view. Oh my God. And you can hear a stream all night. Bed's okay, although I just shook a beetle out of it. They even have provided hooks, chairs, which I will use as end tables, and a door with no lock on it. But this is cool. Look, it says His Holiness Security Officers. They actually came here. That's cool. So, um, I look a fright because I kept waking up all night. I didn't sleep so well. But um, you might not either. If you had to share a bathroom with three other monks, that was a little horrifying. Um, I'm not going to show you the bathroom. It needs to be cleaned. They call this a guest house, but it's really, a, it's really the monastery. Um, so I don't know how long I'm going to last here. I came here to meditate, but I had to talk to the young boys down there about... Um, the awful Indian music, pop music. They were playing too loud, so um, we have an understanding now. They even let me borrow a cup. So we'll see what happens. <laughs> this is part of the adventure. Anyway, this place is holy. It is said that Jesus came here. And this place is ancient. It's really 800 years old and it is the oldest monastery in Ladakh, so we'll see what happens next. There's a beautiful stream. I'm going to go out and sit by it and uh, do some work. So if you have any questions about Hemis Monastery and staying here, please let me know and comment below from Ladakh at Hemis Monastery. One more thing. I forgot to tell you there is electricity here. Not before 6 in the morning. Not before 7 in the morning, but hey, they didn't have electricity before all day. So four years later, that's a big change. No hot water, though. Mm. But hey, I've got uh, plenty to be happy about. And I don't have to move so much so I can rest my foot. I'm not going to walk up to the Buddha, the big Buddha statue on the cliff, because of my foot. It's been a month now and I expected it to all be better after two weeks of cracking my bone. Um, say a prayer for me, please. Anyway, love to you. Don't forget to comment. Check out the latest issue of Vagabond Magazine on Nepal. The next issue is on India. The link is below.